real life. Oh, my dear, 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 that took some doing. Oh, it's so nice when computers update and software don't function anymore. I get a thumbs up from Daniel. Okay, well, I'm here. Hello, everybody. Ah, yes, it worked, it worked, it worked. For some reason, uh, I have Skype running on my computer for when I go live on Creating Craft, and Skype blocked my streaming software. But before we figured that out, it took a while. But we're here. Hello, everybody. Good, I'm stressed out. And I'm not as prepared as I normally am because I was still preparing when I found out it wasn't working. Anyways, we're gonna have some fun. Switch cameras and let's see what I'm gonna do. Right, but it's good to see you all. Hello everybody, hello and welcome. Hey else, <laughs> it is one of those days. You know, I was trying to get ahead of myself and print some stuff out that I needed for the retreat in Canada. And I started the printer and I've been printing loads today for my work, handouts, etc., for trainings. I started the handout print, printer died. That was the first thing. Then, so Daniel went to look for a new printer and I went upstairs to do the live. And this happened. That was the story of tonight. Anyways, um, what am I gonna do? I'm going to work in a journal, surprise, this one. Um, remember I made these the other day um, and I've still got some empty pages, so I'm going to be working on that because I want to fill this up Then this one is done. Uh, this is the one I've used in stores. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the crackle glaze again um, because some people uh, were uh, upset with me that I used the crackle glaze when it was not available. Well, Marlou's got a whole lot in, so um, yeah, that is... Uh, um, uh, no excuse anymore. So, crackle glaze. Love that stuff. We'll show you what I will do with that. So, let's get started, shall we? So, what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to take a brush and take French roast in the uh, fresco finish um, French roast. Beautiful, nearly black when it's dry. Uh, so, I'm going to put on a layer of that. And I've got some uh, Distress Mix Media paper here, just because it's a bit thicker. Um, and that's not enough. So let's put on a blob more. That's better. So I want a nice and even coverage on that. Now the benefit of this chalk paint is that it dries pretty quick. The downside of this chalk paint is that it dries pretty quick. So you've you got to work pretty fast. It's not a disaster, but yeah. And I can't look at the comments while I'm doing this, so bear with me if you expect me to respond to something. Like that. And then just smooth that out. Like so. So I've got a dark base on here now. Put that in the water. I don't know how much she bought, but it is there now, which is good, right? Hello, everybody. Good to join me. 30 minutes late, but uh, we're just going to have some fun. So, I'm going to use the heat tool to dry because, well, it's boring enough to watch paint dry, right? <laughs> this is literally watching paint dry, but this really has to be dried well. Hello again, everybody. Welcome. It's a beautiful color. It reminds me of chocolate, this. It's really nice and intense dark brown. So I'm really giving this a good blast of heat so that it's really dry. I love that chalky finish this has. And then, um, last time I used one of these and then I dove into the whole 
stuff again and I saw that you better off to use a spatula. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take the crackle glaze and shake the bazinga out of that. Hi Lilian, goedenavond. Thank you for joining me, even though it's later than normal. Um, and then I will just put a big blob of that on there. Now, you don't need much. You need a thin layer. This is probably too much, but I'm just going to spread that out using my palette knife. Um, just all over that. Now, this is not a nice palette knife, but okay, it'll work. So I will just spread that out all over. It's like putting butter on bread. <laughs> I will not pick up more. I will just scrape off some excess here and there and put that where I need it. Just like that. Because this stuff works best if you have a thin layer. And it's easy enough to see whether you've got it everywhere because then it's shiny. So just scraping off the excess. like so and then I will make that dry again because this needs to dry now this is quite unique with this crackle glaze that you can use a heat tool on it which is good for impatient people like me I'll get a clean piece of paper because that's nicer to look at hello everybody who came in late now it's dark shiny chocolate but it'll, it will be matte again when it's dry so let me dry this now in the last video, where's my black and white journal? I don't know. I just had two of these journals. Never mind. Uh, in my black and white video, which is on here somewhere, um, I applied the top layer of paint with a brush. In this case, I'm going to do that slightly different and I'm going to use a sponge because you get big cracks when you have uh, applied with uh, a brush and you get smaller porcelain like cracks when you apply it with a sponge which is fun I just can't seem to find my journal hmm oh wait I put that away already there we go look this is the journal I'm talking about I used the brush and I had big cracks on there and this will be a completely different effect. It just has to be dry for that. And it dries quickly, so that is not an issue. You can see it's a bit thick over there, but I'm just going to take my pellet knife and scrape that excess off because I don't want that too thick on there. And the same here. There we go. Okay, just gonna let that cool down. Hey, Marilyn. So this is now covered in two layers. Um, first, we have the French roast, and then we have the crackle glaze. And next, I'm gonna use sea glass. Sea glass is the uh, lighter color because that works best if you have. A dark color and a lighter color that gives great co contrast. Um, let me shake this. Sea glass is a really nice light blue. I'm going to put a big blob on there and then I'm going to load up my um, sponge. This is a piece of, um, help me out someone, cotton dry foam. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here at the top 
and dab that on just quickly and don't go over it again don't look back just dab it on pick up some more dab it on and you get a completely different effect on the background as with a brush which is fun and this stuff is fun anyway there we go that's it don't don't touch it anymore this will be enough And while I'm throwing away the paper, you can see the magic happening already. You see that? This is just... I will just let it dry on its own and you can really see the cracks coming up. It's really like magic. Um, you can speed it up and I will in a second. I will put the heat tool on it. But I just want you to see that while it dries, it really does a magical thing. And these cracks come up. And in this case, it's really small cracks not really thick ones, not big ones, uh, like on my journal, but like more porcelain-like. So I will just give it a blast of heat. And you can really see these cracks. It amazes me every time this. Okay, now it's not 100% dry. Obviously, acrylic paint needs to, uh, how do you call that, uh, cure a bit. But I'm just gonna, this side is still wet. Um, I'm gonna do something to it before it's completely cured. Because I'm gonna take one of these sanding discs. Hi, Patricia. And I'm going to go around the edge. You know I like my edges to be darker. And with this, you just take off a bit of that bluish. And again, with this, it's, it's not predictable. You get what you get. That's what I like. I like that grungy look. like that and then what I do I started with a layer of French roast from fresco finished chalk acrylics then I put on a layer of crackle glaze and then on top I put a layer of sea glass now the sand eraser took off a bit of the dark paint there so I'll just go around with spray burlap to cover that up and that will grunge it up even more But it's really, really cool. Thanks, Els. So, I will just give that another blast of heat to really make sure it's cured now for the next step. I think this is amazing. Look at that detail in there. It's just stunning. Stunning. Whoa, that's a good idea, Lisanne. That's going on the list. A crackle paper pad. Oh, Elsa just left, but it's a good idea. Well, the web shop is open 24 hours a day. And I was smart. I just ordered two. <laughs> I knew I was going to do this this live, so I just ordered two. Oh, you're still here, else? Good. <laughs> it was a good idea. Do a crackle, uh, crackle paper pad. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I ordered two bottles for myself already. <laughs> okay, this is now dry, set, will not work anymore. 
So, yeah. Ah, smart, he's bad. This needs to come off, these little bits and bobs. Now, what I really like about this crackle glaze is that you, it, it's smooth. It doesn't have, and I'm not sure you can see it, you see? It's completely flat. You can stamp on it, you can do anything on it. Um, and I have an idea. I, I bought these a long time ago. That's, uh, these are um, from 49 and Market, rub-ons. And I just thought I would put this one smack in the middle. So that's what I'm going to do. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to peel this one off and put that in the center of my page. And then I will get one of these uh, tools from Tim, from, I don't know, is it Sysix? Yeah, Sysix um, ball stylus that you can also use for flower shaping, etc. The thicker the paint is, the bigger the cracks will be. And if you apply it with a brush, you will also get bigger cracks. But I want to have the smaller cracks now for this. Um, but yeah, it really depends on how you, the method, how you apply it. Uh, also, in which direction the brush strokes go. If you go on in one direction like that, the cracks will be like that. And if you alter alternate, it'll go in all different directions. So I'm just making sure that this is stuck down. And look at that. I think that looks fantastic. And this goes to show, you see now, it's completely flat. There's no texture behind it, which is really fun. But I'm not done yet. Um, I've got this pack as well. That I will use. The, with the butterflies, is Spectrum Gardenia Butterfly Flight Rub-On Transfer Sheet. That's a mouthful. And this one is called Vintage Artistry Nature Study Color Wash Rub-Ons. They are, I love their stuff, but the names are really long. Now, I want this one. I never have issues with those, uh, with these. I've, did I ever use Tim's? I think I did. Can't remember. So, I'm just going to trim this one out, and then I'm going to trim it in half, like so, and I'm going to position it. And I'm going to put this one right here, at the bottom, uh, like so. The other one, I will put here at the top. Like so. And then we'll rub that on again. Hey, Ingrid. You missed all the stress and crisis here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, these are quite going on very easy. And what I really like is that you don't really see them, if you know what I mean. They're really matte and one with the background. Now, well, I didn't do anything, Ingrid. Why do you assume immediately that I did something? <laughs> Look, I love that you still see the texture behind it. Um, now my whole streaming software crashed and uh, 
it was a bit of a nightmare to get on to the light. Oh well, but we're here now, so that's good. Because I really wanted to show this. Love this. Just a tiny bit. There we go. Now, this is a great base page. I love this. So, next what I'm going to do is I've got these three little butterflies here. And I'm going to put them on here like so. So we've got the butterflies coming this way and we've got the butterflies going that way. So I'm just going to give these a bit of color. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm going to use these two colors, carved pumpkin and ripe persimmon. True, Femke. True. So, ripe persimmon and um, what did I say? Carved pumpkin. Quite a bright, intense color. Get some water. Where's my water spray? That's alcohol. Hmm. Okay. probably right under my nose, but I will just put this one on. I'll start here in the center and put on that right person on. And again, it's, it's going to be easy coloring the David way because, well, I'm no Marga or Anita. Simple as that. So, so I'm going to make them all three the same. Same here, because I like how that orange stands out to that blue. And grab that darker color and just blend that in. These butterflies are stunning, right? I love them as well. That was a good one. I love butterflies, period. <laughs> but you guys know that. Well, I think this one looks pretty. Let's continue with the other one. So this is easy coloring the David way. Blend that in nicely, like so. And I can't color between the lines, as you can see, but I will fix that. Like so. Okay, beautiful. Just darken it up ever so slightly here. There we go. Okay, that's that. Done. Then I want a brown. I've got a zig marker here, so 
I will just color the body brown. As I will cover them up, but I don't want any white to show. There we go. And then I will take my white jelly roll, and where I I will color that. like so nobody sees it yay mm -hmm. you guys know because you've seen it but otherwise you wouldn't know else taught me that so that's that let me clean this up because I know I will smudge that everywhere. Where did my water bottle? Oh, there it is. As I said, it's right in front of my nose, probably. Okay, that's that. So, then I will etch these. If I can find my... Oh, here it is. Just wait and see, Fenka. <laughs> but you know me too well. There will be something on there. That's one. That's two. I just like it when they're etched. So, that is that. Okay, let's stick them on, shall we? Now, I do, I do, I do, I do want to um, put it on here first, I think. Or at least create the fold so I know Bear with me. I think I can just do it in half. Then I can see where the middle is because I want these to be in the middle of that part of the page. That's why I was doing that. So, just some glue on the back of these. I'm not going to lift the wings up because this journal is quite thick. Is the middle? I think it is. This side, like so. And then this one is going to go right there in the middle. I love the colors coming back. And the mix of the cool tones and the warm tones. Yeah. Okay, that's that. Now let me get my big trusted box of goodies. And I'm going to use the clockworks this time. And I want the tiny ones. Um, this one is really tiny. Mm. 
าร์ตกับหมูโอเค one that's three sizes could be fun yeah I'll do that <laughs> okay I'll do that. So I'll put the big one here at the bottom. Like so. The medium size will go here in the middle one like so and then the tiny one will go at the top Cool, right? I love that. Okay, okay. Next, I am going to take. Um, let me see if I can. I've got a big box of things down here. Um, for some reason. Got this fly free here that I can use. Um, let me just get a piece of twine. Yeah, it's a fun little box, and there are some really old pen nips in there. Um, it's really fun. So I've got the Tim Holtz ones in there as well, but I've got really old original pen nips as well, with the ink still on there. So. that trim that off I think it's too long so, like that. And I actually I like it. You still see that beautiful background. Yeah, I'm not sure they're still available, but Ideology had them. I'll show you. Bear with me. Just let me stick this one on. Um. Like this one. No, I'm lying. This is actually an original one. Um, this is one. This is one from uh, Ideology. It says journal um, and it has these things at the back, uh, which makes it a little bit, a little bit easier to, to glue them down. But as I said, um, they're hard to find and I'm not sure they're still available. So. I've got one on here. I, I made this card this afternoon when I was testing this and I wanted to show you that card because um, this is a really fun technique using this stuff also on cards. So here is a nice card that has a pen nib on as well. 
Um, and this is one from, from Tim. If you find them, let me know, because I only have one or two left, uh, Ingrid, so... <laughs> so, um, yeah, also really nice for a card. That was the, the point of this. Uh, and I think this one is nearly done. I just want a bit of splatter on there, I think, and then I'm okay. So I'm just going to do a bit of splatter. Some splatter is always nice, right? Ah, Ingrid, you can order for me as well. Just let me know where you ordered them. and uh, You can order first and then I can go second. There we go, just some small, tiny little splatters. And to be honest, I think I'm gonna leave it like this because I, I love this background. The butterfly is coming across. It doesn't need much more, does it? Yeah, and it's just small splatters, but I like it. I'm just drying the splatter now. Thank you, guys. I mean, this effect with the crackle is so beautiful. You don't need to do much more to it. And I think this one speaks for itself. It was a happy accident. I've got that ready over in my box of thingies. Okay, I think that's dry. And if not, it's dry enough. Okay, I will just put some glue on the back. And then what I'll do with my finger is just smooth this out a bit so it doesn't seep out, but then it's that it's everywhere. Like finger painting, but then differently. Okay, and then I will just stick this in there, like so. Just press this down in the middle. There we go. Just fold that together. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> no, you can't get the pages out, but I don't want to get the pages out. So I don't mind that it's glued down. Love that. That is in there, ready to go. Love it. So this journal is coming together nicely. I really love it. This is a flip-flap thingy. I made this at a store. Again, butterfly. What did I do here? Cut it out of stenciled paper, I think. Love this one still. It's so nice to flick through uh, a journal. This is also still a favorite. I love this one, the vintage feel and shine and the cracks in the back. 
Love that. This is the one we made today. Love this little guy. He's a cutie patootie. So, one more page left, so, and some more here. This is, I think, one and one here. So it's not completely done yet, but we're getting there. This is another flip and flap and flop thingy. So, but it's getting quite thick and bulky. So, but I love it. Love it. Right. Okay, guys. Well, that was it for today. I think it's been enough now. <laughs> it's a stressful start. A stressful evening. No, it's not an issue at all in, a, in an art journal. I've done that on, on several, like here I didn't do it, but then something's sticking through here. <laughs> that's this one, I think. And that's not, not nothing wrong with that. Um, so there's one more page that I will do here probably, and then we'll see. Anyway, that was it for today. Uh, I'm happy that I still was able to be live. The stress has left my body, so that was good. Uh, thank you for joining me. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. And I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you for joining me tonight, and I'll see you then. Thank you. Bye.